It's been a year of surprises for Honey Castro, who greeted city and county officials this morning at the Key. She came to Vancouver in June with a goal, win the Miss Washington Scholarship pageant. She did. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Washington 1985. Commissioner Sturdivant, how do you feel about Honey's big win in Atlantic City? Proud, proud, making us all proud. Just fantastic, especially considering the Miss Washington pageant kind of comes from Vancouver and Clark County and stuff. So just great. It was a great feeling. Just super. Do you think this will help put Vancouver on the map? Oh, it puts the whole state on the map. We're, as, as Dave said, uh, especially proud because the pageant is in uh, Vancouver. Uh, it's a great accomplishment. Thank you. Honey Castro loves to meet people. People. Under her vital statistics, she includes people watching as a hobby. The five foot five Miss Washington is of Filipino descent. She grew up in Moses Lake, a town of about 14,000 in eastern central Washington. What was the best experience for you participating in the Miss America pageant? The best experience was meeting the other girls and seeing what they had to go through to train for Miss America and make, making friends and having fun. I think that's very important to know what your perspective and your purpose is and that's to have fun and to do the best that you can do. Well you probably exhibited that in front of all those people up there. I bet that was nerve wracking wasn't it? No, it was such an excitement to know that you were going to be on, a, on the stage, Atlantic City. Uh, as a little girl I dreamed of being that and, and being a contestant in the pageant and to actually be there was such an awesome experience. So no, no nerves, just excitement. Honey earned $13,000 in scholarship money from the Miss America pageant, which she'll apply to her education at the University of Washington. She plans to be a children's doctor in Seattle. I see myself in a few years becoming a medical doctor and specializing in pediatric surgery, working with children. Of her Miss Washington duties for the next nine months, Honey says it's a big responsibility. It's not always glamour and, and you always have to be on and it, it is a big responsibility, it is a job, but it, it is also quite an honor to represent such a beautiful state. It is. I, comparing it to all the other states, I have to say Washington is the most beautiful, not only because of its scenery and the recreational things that it provides, but also because of its people. Honey said she was elated and honored to be one of the ten finalists at the Miss America pageant. And for her, being chosen third runner-up was the icing on the cake.